What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. If you guys do enjoy these videos more frequently, uh, more specifically, uh, kind of, you know, switching up the content, let me know with a like or just a comment. What we're going to be doing in today's video is this really cool kind of mass kaleidoscope effect. So if I push play, it's going to look something like this. And this is uh, without the effect. And this is with it applied. Super cool stuff and really, really easy to do. So what you want to do is find a kind of like a scene where you want to apply this effect. So what I want to do is I want to go make your cut. Press command B on your keyboard to make your cut. And you're going to hold option and drag upwards to make a copy. So it's going to look something like this. Now that you have that, you're going to go over to the transform tool and you're just going to increase the scale. So you can do it over here. You can use a slider or you can go over to the corners here and just increase it like that. So I'm going to increase it and I'm going to move it over to the left in this case. And I'm going to click done. I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. And I want this clip to be roughly on the left side of this video about there. And I'm going to increase the opacity again. So once we're happy with the position, we're going to go over to the effects. We're going to go down to masks and we're going to add a shape mask. So add the shape mask onto that clip. And then you're going to have this mask, which just masks uh, whatever's inside of this selection. So we're going to use the green to refine our selection and the outer ring will control the feather. So how soft those edges will be. So I'm going to do something like this and I'll make this a little bit more narrow and a little bit taller and I'm going to rotate this with this green wheel. But I also don't want to cover his face the, for the main clip, which is this clip here. Make this skinnier and do something like this. So once you're happy with this, make sure it doesn't really cover too much of his face. I'm going to rotate this a little bit more. Okay. So once we're there, I think that looks pretty good. So once you're done with that, you can go over to the blend mode and change it from normal to screen or you can do add or any other ones like overlay or you can leave it on normal and just decrease the opacity to 70 percent which is what i'm going to do and i'm going to go over to the effects i'm going to go to blur and i'm going to add a prism blur and what the prism blur will do is it will create a rgb split effect so if i increase the amount you can see it happening there i'm going to increase it to about not, nothing too much maybe 10 and then the angles where the angle is going to take place. And then I'm going to hold option, drag upwards to make another copy. I'm going to go over to the transform tool and I'm just going to move this over to the right side now. So something like this, push play, and then you're pretty much done. So let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll catch you in my next video.